At the Center for Advanced Engineering and Research in Forest, Virginia, B&W established the Integrated System Test Facility, a large-scale research facility that provides the unique opportunity to monitor and test integral system behavior for performance and computer code verification. Construction on the facility began in 2010 and was completed with all equipment installed by December of the following year. The IST was envisioned as a dedicated test bed for the study of operational and transient response of an advanced passive light water small modular reactor, the B&W M-Power SMR. Testing flexibility was built into the IST, supporting modifications and a variety of research and testing initiatives. The facility was commissioned and fully pressurized in August 2012. The IST consists of a primary flow loop with all the components of a traditional pressurized water reactor primary coolant system represented. The vessels containing the reactor coolant system are fabricated per ASME boiler and pressure vessel code as required with a maximum design pressure of 2,500 pounds per square inch and temperature of 650 degrees Fahrenheit. To house the IST system, the CARE facility includes an approximate 120-foot tower construction for the IST primary and secondary cooling systems, an approximate 2,000-square-foot area within the main facility for the control room, data analysis room, electrical room, high bay mechanical area, and a mezzanine for other electrical equipment placement and associated storage capabilities. The test loop consists of a reactor vessel with an electrically heated core, a riser assembly that conducts the hot reactor coolant to the inlet of the steam generator and the pressurizer. The steam generator is a once-through counterflow shell and tube heat exchanger. Primary coolant flow is on the inside of the tubes and the secondary flow is on the outside of the tubes. A reactor coolant pump takes suction on the outlet of the steam generator and delivers flow to the inlet of the reactor vessel. Primary side piping is trace heated to minimize and control ambient heat losses. The IST includes a secondary steam production system complete with feed water, steam generator boiler, steam relief and condenser. The physical nature of a nuclear power plant impacting operational and event behavior encompasses a wide range of spatial and temporal scales, coupled physical phenomena, and diverse demands by operators for fidelity and response. The IST is scaled to preserve the dominant thermal hydraulic phenomena important to safety in the B&W M-Power SMR. The principal prerequisite toward that objective is the requirement for full pressure and temperature. As a design reliant on inherent safety from passively occurring phenomena such as natural circulation, full height scaling was considered to be the next dominant scaling priority. Maintaining full height and the ratio of power to volume, realistic loop flow transit time is preserved. The IST's integral economizer once through steam generator mimics the 19 tube design derived from scaling laws developed by Ishii and Kataoka for B&W's multi-loop integral system test program of the 1970s and 1980s, since substantiated by the sustained performance of OTSG, an existing fleet of B&W designed commercial nuclear power plants. The 19 tube design effectively sets the minimum power requirements. The IST design in full power is 1.8 megawatts. While the system is heated with electricity rather than nuclear material, a nuclear core is faithfully simulated. There are 60 heater pins arranged in an 8x8 array with 160 thermocouples. The core heaters create a symmetrical cosine axial heater profile with an adjustable radial profile using four groups of core heaters. Within the reactor vessel, beyond the core unit, coolant flows through a riser section that carries flow to the inlet to the steam generator. Along this section of the reactor vessel is a removable spool piece accommodating process scale flow field study. The removable section is five feet long and four inches in diameter, originally intended for two-phase flow measurement instrumentation. As a plug-and-play component, alternative spool pieces may be installed along the existing pipe run. 
Additionally, space is available surrounding the spool piece to allow for a more complex spool, accommodating feed and bleed, single or two-phase flow sampling, or even a heat exchanger for a small interfacing test loop. The riser is fully instrumented with differential pressure transmitters and RTDs detecting process conditions. At the top of the riser, directly above the steam generator, a 5-inch diameter flanged instrument connection is also available for installation of additional instruments in the primary system. This location can, among other things, provide a location to investigate primary to secondary heat transfer of the steam generator for code validation or provide a monitoring point for transient phenomena between the riser, pressurizer, and primary side of the steam generator. The pressurizer measures 9 feet 5 inches in height and communicates with the primary loop. It includes a 6 kilowatt heater and spray nozzle to maintain pressure in the loop. The top of the pressurizer has connections for depressurization simulating passive emergency core cooling and a connection for simulating a spectrum of loss of coolant accident brake sizes. The once through steam generator is a straight tube design with counter flow. It produces superheated steam, exhibits four unique heat transfer domains, and features steam samplers at three elevations in the steam bundle to measure the moisture content of the steam during operational conditions and during variations in steam generator test conditions designed to investigate heat transfer. In addition to the steam samplers, the steam generator is outfitted with nine differential pressure transmitters, 19 thermocouples, and three steam bundle outlet RTDs. The IST system also includes a reactor coolant pump that can create 50 to 404 gallons per minute using a sealed canned motor that has a separate heat exchanger that works in both forced and natural circulation. The system has two downcomers, a two inch forced circulation line and a four inch natural circulation line. The natural circulation line contains a quick-acting ball valve used to create a variety of flow conditions. As common in advanced nuclear reactor designs, the IST includes both an active and passive means for long-term decay heat removal. Unique to the IST is the passive cooling system. It has a full emergency core cooling system interfacing with the primary system via an automatic depressurization system containing high and low pressure actuation valves. Two intermediate pressure injection tanks are accumulators and a large refueling water storage tank residing in a simulated containment. Pressure in the containment may be algorithmically controlled. The balance of plant includes the feed water, steam, and condensate systems, which are simplified for the IST since power generation is not included. The IST's housing provides several convenient locations for tapping into the steam line for additional testing opportunities. The feed water flow control valve can be modulated to match the power demand, including simulating load following scenarios. Accommodation for the breadth of research and development begins with power and control requirements. The plant instrumentation and control system was designed with the latest advancements in control room technology. It includes Rosemount Instrumentations, Emerson Delta V Control System, 20 interactive operator control interface screens, more than 500 instruments with online continuous data collection, remote viewing of plant operation and data extraction, variable frequency drives for components increasing integrated operation, tuning, and component flexibility. The IST was designed for PWR operational and transient testing. The digital INC system's algorithmic capability extends the IST's nuclear power plant emulation to include realistic accounting for coupled neutronic thermal hydraulic feedback effects. This cyber power system platform provides a unique opportunity to monitor and test integral system behavior for performance and computer code verification. The IST system is tuned and proven to be stable. It is a one-of-a-kind facility, providing unique opportunity for industry or academic research initiatives that require versatility and cutting-edge technology.